Hey everybody, uh, I am stopping everything I had planned. I had uh, I have videos uploaded right now um, of projects that I'm in the middle of and everything. I'm so excited to have this, another one of my grail projects to work on. Uh, this is a long, out of production, hard to find, expensive if you do, um, sort of in the same category of those uh, mythical stealth fighters that they put out that don't actually exist. This is the LHX, um, the Stingbat. This is a, a model of, of an aircraft that never actually existed, but they thought it might. Um, this is a tester's model, obviously. You can see what amazing good condition this is. This came to me from eBay. I actually got an amazing deal on this. I don't think that the owner of it kind of knew what he had. But so anyway, the LHX program is the same thing that brought us the Comanche. And, you know, I had done the unboxing of the Comanche a long time ago, which was actually built. And if you remember what the Comanche looks like, it you know, it's a much more realistic looking design than this thing. This was supposed to be an actual stealth helicopter. It says right there, stealth helicopter. Um, aerodynamically, this thing would never fly if you know about helicopters and, and the forces at, at work with them but i just i had i had to get my hands on one and build this um, and we are going to build this and we're going to unbox it right now and take a look at this kit this is uh, something i always wanted to build uh, younger earlier in my life and i just never got a chance to do it um, this one like i said this one um mint in the box almost perfect condition i mean the box is in great shape. The shrink wrap is unopened completely, no blemishes. It's amazing how well this one has survived. So it's a 148 skill kit. Um, they're out there. There's not a lot of them. They're out there. You can find it if you look. Like I said, I got a really, really great deal on this one. That's why I'm so excited to find it and why I'm stopping everything I'm working on to unbox this and take a look. I've never seen this kit in real life. So, now you'll notice on the box, it comes what, even the decals look like they're in pretty good shape. It comes with, an, with army decals too? That's weird, I've never, I don't know. I've never seen this done up in anything besides the marine three-color camouflage scheme that they put their helicopters in in the 80s and the 90s. Oh, you couldn't tell this from the box, but the canopy has the, the golden kind of color shade. Looks pretty cool. So we've got our two canopy pieces. I'm just going to move them now since one came off. They're actually for a mid-80s kit. They're very well done. Um, we'll still dip them. They got a, a few little scuff marks and everything, but very clear. There's a little distortion there, but don't mind that. Let's see, what else comes... That's... What is this? I have no idea what this is. I have no, I have no idea what this is. This would appear to be posters or something. This is giant photos. I, I don't, I don't know what this is. All right, never seen a kit come with that. But here are the old testers instructions with their their new release. I always love looking at this. Um, of course, they're very old releases now. I always wanted to do one of these submarine sets. Now, the USS Dallas and Soviet submarines. Of course, this is a nod to the hunt for Red October. Um, and then, of course, they have the USS Ohio, our SSBN, and then the Soviet nuclear submarine. Uh, so these were really cool. 
was never into cars, but testers, of course, put out a lot of cool car kits. I built that 148 scale Black Bunny once upon a time. What do they have in the back? Uh, just other cool kits by testers. So let's take a look at the instructions for this kit. Now, one thing I like, and I said this about the old testers' instructions, is that they try to give you a, a historical pers perspective as you go. Now, the, the Stingbat was an actual concept design that was never actually built. So they're, you know, computer mock-ups and stuff. Nobody built a, a flying Stingbat. It was sort of something they decided, they thought about, but um, it just never went into it. You'll notice there's no tail rotor on this on this design here. Uh, <clears throat> Hughes, uh, working with Bell, had come up with the the Notar system, which worked on a modified Hughes 500. Um, it, it scientifically with this design, they decided would not work. But that is neither here nor there. Would also make it a much larger infrared target. But anyway, so we've got our parts tree. We've got our map there. Um, we've got technical notes, why it has a two-man crew. Um, looks like you can build this one with the, the skids down or up. You'll probably do it with the skids down. Starting with cockpit, like usual. Moving on to fuselage sides. And then um, internal weapons, of course. Now it looks like it has something, or they look like Hellfires in this diagram. We'll take a look at what they actually have. And then the two-piece canopy. Um, it looks like maybe you can model this canopy open, according to this instruction here. So that's interesting. You can do a U.S. Army version, which is just all dark green with red decals which is interesting because army helicopters typically fly um, oh and a u.s air force one wow weird um, so army usually flies with you know uh hell or a specific color u.s army helo drab with black markings um, so that's that's different uh, they give you a missile loader that you can build and then it has the three color marines, but I don't see where Air Force decals go in at all. That has these US Air Force decals over here. I don't, I don't see what they go to. Um, I, nowhere. But that's still just kind of cool. Oh, it says if building US Air Force version replaced decal 22 with 23, the Air Force has a totally different color scheme than that. Well, I guess if you wanted to do an Air Force version, you could do it in the um, light ghost gray, uh, dark green, and light green colors, which, um, you know, Pave Hawks uh, and some special operations um, helicopters have flown in. You could also do it in European 1, which is Euro 1 dark gray, Euro 1 dark green, and medium green. But only Marine helicopters have flown in this camouflage scheme. Um, light ghost gray, flat black, and it's not necessarily olive drab. Uh, it's it's a more of a, it's a different color, but um, you know olive drab will work. We'll we'll actually use the right color. I, I think I'm going to do marines. I don't normally do marine stuff because you know my background is army and air force, but I think it would be cool. These decals actually do look like they are in great shape, probably because they've been sealed up nicely inside this whole thing. I, I think I would like to use some of the red. I think that'll look cool. But anyway, you know, when we talk about building this one historically accurate, how, how can it be? Because this is totally made up. So there's a little bit of flash on the pieces here. But overall, um, since it is a stealth helicopter, uh, they don't have a lot of things to go along, all around. You know, not a lot of panel lines or anything. There's enough that we can do, uh, maybe some pre-shading to give it some texture and depth, you know. Um, but, you know, be the stealth helicopter, there there shouldn't be a lot of panel lines on it. There shouldn't be any panel lines, technically, if it's a stealth helicopter. I think we figured out that the concept of a stealth helicopter remaining completely um, 
invisible to radar is is impossible as long as the the rotor's spinning it's going to be picked up but i think we can do some nice interesting things you know on the exterior to bring it to life a little bit um, not a lot of detail at all pretty much no detail on the interior of the fuselage but it's not a very big helicopter i'm gonna have to look into whether or not we need to put some weight in the nose there we've got our skids i think these are some missile launch rails some doors exhaust or intakes i'm not really sure one sprue just two sprues of everything this is the missile base these are our are these supposed to be hellfires i don't know they're terrible Fortunately for working with the Comanche, I just got in two sets of these Edward uh, Resin and Brass AGM-114 Hellfires, and they are fantastic. They size, detailed, very accurate. Um, so we'll be working with these. And I got enough to fill out the complement for the what I thought would be enough for the uh, entire Comanche and this. I see now that I will not have enough. I'll probably have to order one more. If this is going to carry six, we're going to need we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> we're going to need some more Hellfires. But uh, these are these are just terrible shaped whatevers. And you know, based on the shape, I, I have to imagine they are Hellfires. You know, it'd be cool to throw in here brimstones. Uh, brimstones are awesome British weapons. They're smaller than Hellfire. The truth is, I don't know if Hellfire is going to fit in there, but Brimstone probably would, and I can get those in plastic instead of resin and fill those out for the armament. Looking at the uh, instrument panels, a little bit of detail, not a lot for both the pilot and gunner, so we can work with that. Wheels. Oh, uh, the wheels, these wheels must be for the uh, loading cart over there. Seats are, you know, seats have very basic detail on them. I don't know how much we're going to see inside. I mean, it's got big windows for the canopy, so... Might want to work on that a little bit and see what we can do. There's some big design flaws in this, uh, in terms of you know making it an operate. You know, I think this actually can open and, and close. We can. I don't think you have to model it one or the other based on how this little J hook is in there. It looks like we can have it opening and closing, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you look at some of the features on this helicopter, though, look at the position of the gun. That's terrible. We'll talk about it as we build it. But uh, basically the reason that the Cobra and the Apache have the gun at the extreme end of the nose is because helicopters will fly in a nose-down angle. Um, so this helicopter, in order to engage anything with a gun, would have to actually fly directly over it or stop, level themselves, and that's a terrible place for a gun. That's just technical stuff. Of course, this was never a real helicopter but i'm going to stop everything i'm working on um, and i am going to build the sting back because i'm so excited about this i've wanted to build this one for years and i finally got it so pretty short unboxing because i want to get right i mean there's not a lot to see you can see it's it's not very detailed what i might do is like i do sometimes look for extra decals i have um i have some mike grant cockpit decals just gauges and stuff um, I might look for some extra photo etch I have from some uh, other aircraft and, and dress up the, the cockpit to make it look a little fancier. We'll see all that as we go through the build and see how that works out. But uh, I want to make this one look really good. Um, this is one, a, a lot of times when I'm done with a model, I have to either find room for it um, or sell it. And this is one though that I'm going, number one, because the kit is so rare, I'm gonna keep it. Number two, because I've been dying to add this to my little model collection, I'm going to keep it. So this is going to be awesome. I'm going to look into adding those brimstones um, instead of the hellfires because, you know, I don't think a hellfire is going to fit in that bay, but a brimstone would. 
and we'll talk more about that later. So I'm going to get started on it right now, but please join me for the full buildup on this. I don't think it'll be a very complicated, very long buildup, but it should be fun and a, and a cool one to do. So let's go sting batting. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas, please throw them in the comments. Uh, I think I think we'll have a lot of fun doing this one together. So thank you guys as always. Keep building and build them well. And I'll see you to begin the construction on this one really soon.